All right, this is a video on how you can use the closed captioning option on Zoom. So like I showed you before, when you're on the actual Zoom website under settings, you have the option for making closed captioning an option on your Zoom call. So as you can see again, I have three different random versions of myself going right now so I can show you what this looks like. So once you add that feature under options, if you go to more, and actually if you expand this, they'll all show up at the bottom too. So the smaller your screen, then you have to click more to see the other options. If I expand my screen, you'll see the options fall at the bottom here too. So for closed captioning, you'll have an option that pops at the bottom that looks like this. So you have two options here. So this one says copy this token and paste it into a third party closed captioning tool. I have not used this yet, but this would be if you have another tool that you can use on your computer for closed captioning, it will automatically make closed captioning pop up at the bottom here. Or what I think is cool, and this is, could be a good use of a co-teacher in your class, is you could assign someone to do the closed captioning for you. So if I go to closed caption again, I have the option to assign a participant to type or I can type. So I wanna show you both ways. So if I sign in, assign a participant to type, I can go to any person up here and click more. So I can't click on myself. But if I click to someone else that's in the presentation, I have the option to make them the host or to be able to assign them to closed captioning. So I'm noticing right here, and this is why I hesitated, because I'm on my phone, it looks like if you're on your phone, you cannot be a person that does closed captioning. So that's a good thing to know. But my other computer that is open right now, I have the option to assign them to be the one that's closed, um, doing the closed captioning. So if I click assign to closed caption on their side, it says right now when I'm looking at my other computer, it says the host has assigned you to type closed captioning. And there's an arrow pointing on closed captioning. They just click it and then they have the option to start writing. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like for students. So if they start typing what I'm saying, you notice right now at the bottom, it's popping up so that students would be able to read it, which is really, really cool. So that would be if you have another person doing the typing for you. And if you notice right now on the screen, it says CC, and that shows me that that person is doing the closed captioning for me. So I'm going to withdraw closed caption permission from that person right now. And now if you notice, this is what the box looks like for me to be able to type in my own closed captioning. So I can make this box smaller. So what I like about this is that you don't have to use this just for closed captioning. You can also use this if you just want to even type in questions or notes that you want to say. So if I was in the middle of the conversation and then I wanted to say to students something like, what do you think? As you notice, it popped up right at the bottom. This is what it looks like for students. So they'd be able to see that until I type something new. So then if I said, okay, moving on, I have to click enter to be able to show that. And what's nice about this, like I said before, I believe, is that you can save your closed caption history. So if you want to click, excuse me, save verbatim what you said on during the lesson and share it with students, you can save that and you can share that with students too. And as always, you can share the video later with students as well. If you were to share the video later with students, it would pop up on the video anything that was typed into the closed caption name that fell down here. So that's a really nice tool to use, especially with a co-teacher. It's also a nice tool to use if you want to ask questions during your Zoom call that you want students to respond to or things for them to maybe even remember. And again, you can record your Zoom video and those features would be shared with students as well. All right. Hope that was helpful to you. Bye.